Hey everybody, we're gonna continue the shit our head to hard mode, dog. It's a lead story. Would you like to save your progress? My voice cracked. Gross. Well, yeah, I'm gonna continue playing. Uh, I'm not Ellie Wood. Did I pick Ellie Wood? No. I no. No. Did I? No. Did I? No. Don't. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, I thought I picked Hollywood. I thought I picked Hollywood. Thought I picked Hollywood. Okay. Um. So this is Hector. He's he's a pretty cool guy. He's a pretty cool guy. He's a he's a pretty cool guy. And um, yeah, you know he's he is kind of a prince person of royalty, and his brother is like the lord of of Ostia country. You know. Brother, where is he? I can't see him. Lord Hector, is that my voice for everyone? No, it isn't Oz one. Just move on. It's not my voice for everyone. Hey, that's enough. What's the meaning of this? You know full well the disappearance of Marcus, 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 Marcus. Skip it. We don't care. And um, basically, he runs away because he wants to be cool and help Elliewood find his father. Because Elliewood's father's missing. Matthew's like, I'm gonna come here with you, and then he's like, okay, no, you're not coming with me. And he's like, yo, he disappeared, where'd he go? And then this band of birds is like, I am going to reveal myself, and he's like, no, you won't let you! No! Won't let you! And he's gonna kill him, and then he's gonna go... Bandits. That's what's happening in this chapter. Bandits approacheth, so... I don't know. I don't really like using, uh... Matthew's level 3? What? What? That's all we got him to? Oh, okay. Well... Yeah, I thought I had him, like, level 7. <laughs> we're, we're gonna... Uh, is there any thieves? Oh, there totally is a thief, and they want to jack my treasure. And we're not gonna let them. So Hector's a pretty fantastic unit. Why is animations not on? Animations! I told you to be... I told you to be on... For Hector. And why... Why is... Okay, there we go. No. No, you attack him. You... You, you attack him first. What the fuck? I told you animations! Oh, I put them off. He, I'm silly. Um, um, attack, attack his face. There you go. That is pretty freaking badass and can annihilate fools all on his own. Look at this, level one, just rallying peeps all left and right. And look at his levels, look at his levels. They're fantastic. There are, it was, in fact, fantastic. His level. Okay. We have no healing items. It's wonderful. I've never been so. Oh, there we go. I I lied. I, I was. It wasn't wonderful. I wasn't happy about it. Son of a bitch. Hey. You son of a bitch. That's what you get. Can't even take treasure now. Bam. Oh. How oh, many? Bam. Bam! What's? Oh my God! Should probably heal. Pro probably should. Kill him, Matthew. Mmm, <laughs> isn't that? Oh, don't you just love that sound? Don't you love hearing that? <laughs> oh, I know you do. Oh, we got a red gem. So now we can sell stuff. Oh yeah, in um, in um, uh, Elliewood's mode, he starts off with ten thousand gold. And Hector, she starts off with none for some reason. Uh, he doesn't even get it when he joins Elliewood. So, fuck you, Elliewood. You douche wagon. You douche. You're, you're such a douche. Oh my god, that was a phantasmagoria level. Excellent. Most excellent. Kill him. You will stand right here. Son of a bitch. 
Yeah. Pretty sure he has a vulnerable. Yeah, he has a vulnerable. We're gonna jack that shit up, dog. Because Matthew lacks the necessary items for healing himself. <laughs> Although Hector has two, so. Give him one. You insolent -ness. So we're gonna use this one. You'll, you'll see what I'm doing. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. Fantastic. Owie! But, watch this. Ah ha ha! You can't even move now! It's fantastic. You can pin them and they can't even attack. It's great. I love it. I just love doing that. Makes my day. I have Matthew kill him. He needs some levels. Kind of. Not really. I don't really even need to worry about leveling him whatsoever. I mean, I guess we can level him, but eh. I'm gonna take him most maps, so. I mean, why? Why take him? That's what I'm asking. Okay. So here's the boss. He's an assassin. You know, his assassins sneak around and silently kill people. He just walks around in giant armor. Because that makes sense. Assassins, they're fantastic. See? Oh, it's freaking RPG cliche number 8 billion and 1. Explain their plan and then um, not kill you. Well, explain their plan as they're quote-unquote about to kill you and then they can't and now we know everything he, he just said that their assassin's trying to kill him so he didn't really tell him that much but he told him enough like or it just been like are you Hector and he's like yeah stab 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 you know like you don't tell people your freaking plans see Lord Nurgle who the fuck's that thanks for telling me the main villain of the game thanks for just outright spoiling it man now I know who Nurgle is, and you're fucked. Ah, that was good. Hector, you've been getting pretty fantastic level ups. Uh, so Matthew is a thief or a spy for health, health house Ostia. So he works for Hector now. He's my bitch now. Although in Lynn's chapter, he was pretty much her bitch too. So I don't, I don't know what the fuck he was doing with Lynn, like. He's a spy for House Ostia, so he's helping Lycian. Yeah. Well, they're allies. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. See? And he was his brother's spy. What was he doing for him with Lin? Shall I? Yeah. Hold your word. Yeah, true enough. I'm just assuming you can read this, so. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know. This story's good, but I don't want to read it. I mean, if this was like, if this was like an actual JRPG, I mean, this is an RPG, but if it was like one not based on this, and you had to understand the story, I'd, I'd read it to you, but I don't know, there's no point. There's no point. Like, I plan on doing Tales of Symphonia, and I'm going to do it 100%, but I'll read that to you, because you kind of need to know it, or you won't have a fucking clue what's going on. And this, it doesn't really matter. It's like, not even really about, I don't know, to me it's never really been about the story with Fire Emblem. It's been about the freaking gameplay, man. So, see you next time.